Assalamu alaikum you are watching microbiology by Anwar in this video we will talk about simple staining method in microbiology uh, we use different type of chemicals we call them stains to color the bacteria so these chemicals can be called as stains or dyes in simple staining method we use single stain and dye single stain or dye to color the bacteria and after the staining method all the bacteria that are present in a sample will appear as appear in a single color depending upon the type of stain that we have used right what type of stains can be used for simple staining method in simple staining method we use basic stains why we are using basic stain because they contain positive charge on them and bacteria due to bacterial nucleic acid and different bacterial structure bacteria are having a uh, negative charge on them right so stain has positive charge on them bacteria has negative charge on them so there will be attraction between positively charged stain and negatively charged bacteria examples of basic stains that can be used in simple stainings are the most commonly used stain is the methylene blue or methylene blue another stain crystal violet can be used carbol fusion can also be used saffronin and so on so many there are many different type of uh, basic stain that are positively charged that can be used in simple staining method so we can rephrase this sentence as single we use single stain or dye uh, that is positively charged to color the bacteria so after simple staining we use we can see bacterial structure bacterial morphology and uh, bacterial arrangement how the bacteria are arranged we may see a round shaped bacteria that are just like tennis ball they look like a ball a round shaped bacteria we call them as cocci these cocci may be arranged in chain form these cocci may have appear may appear as in paired we call them diplococci we call them streptococci this is known as diplococci arrangement cocci shaped bacteria that are arranged irregularly or just like the bunch of grapes this arrangement is shown by genus staphylococci staphylococci the second shape that can be seen after simple staining is a rod shaped structure we call them as bacilli call them as bacilli this bacilli can be arranged in chains call them as streptobacilli rod shaped bacteria can be have a proper rectangular structure that are having proper edges they may be like fusiform bacteria that have a tapered end right tapered end these such bacteria are known as fusiform bacteria right the third possibility can be a mix of both rod shaped bacteria and a cocci shaped bacteria cocci and in between cocci and bacilli uh, such a bacteria are called cocobacilli fourth possibility could be uh, coma shaped bacteria just like this example of coma shaped bacteria is a vibrio cholera bacteria could be seen as spiral shape or helical shape 
Trypanema palladium is example of uh, spiral shaped bacteria. So different shape and arrangement of bacteria can be seen after simple staining method. First one is a round shaped bacteria known as cocci. Then rod shaped bacteria we call them bacilli. And the third is intermediate of cocci and bacilli we call them cocobacilli. Fourth possibility can be a coma shaped bacteria. Example is a vibrio cholera that causes a disease known as cholera. Fifth it may be a spiral shape or helical shape bacteria example is a trypanema palladium right so now we will talk about the procedure for performing simple staining procedure for simple staining is very easy uh, just like the normal every normal staining procedure in microbiology first of all we make a smear we'll make a thin smear then we air dry it and heat fix it but for making a smear, we will take a clean glass light. In the center of glass light, we put a drop of water, right? Then with the help of an inoculating loop, with the help of an inoculating loop, a loop look like this. It is also known as wire loop. With the help of loop, we will pick a bacterial colony and we will mix it with water. Just like this, right? So after mixing, we will wait until all the water from this slide evaporates. Then we'll pass this slide two to three times over the flame. That will fix our bacteria on the surface of slide. Also this heat fixation process will kill the bacteria as well. And then the very important step of this simple staining procedure is uh, cover the smear, we will cover the smear with the help of methylene blue. We can use any of the basic stains, but uh, mostly methylene blue is used for this purpose. Then we will cover our smear that was here. Let me just again draw it. Then we will cover our smear with met methylene blue, right? From methylene bottle or any dropper, we will cover our smear with methylene blue for one to two minutes, right? After one to two minutes, we will gently wash our slide uh, with water. In the third step, then we will uh, let this slide uh, get dried. Uh, all the water will evaporate. Uh, then we'll examine this slide under the microscope. This is the procedure of simple staining. If you have any question regarding this topic, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you.